What's up guys, it's Jay, more than half a kill, and I'm back here on Borderlands 2 and it's another episode of my unique weapon guide. In this series, we take a look at the blue rarity weapons with red flavor text, what they do, and if they're farmable or a quest reward, where to find them. And today, we're taking a look at the Jacob's Judge, which is a pistol that you can pick up in South Paul Steam and Power from Assassin One. And it is a pistol that carries bonus critical hit damage, but also a fire rate from fucking hell, which makes this gun a very versatile piece of weaponry. So like I said, this gun can be picked up from farming Assassin One in South Paul Steam and Power, which is actually pretty cool that they named this weapon The Judge and the person you get it from One, because this weapon is actually named after One Judge, who was a slave of George Washington's. She escaped 20 years after the Declaration of Independence was signed, and she was publicly outspoken against slavery, even doing newspaper interviews in a time when being a free slave was actually illegal. So it's kind of cool that Gearbox is putting a nice little bit of a history lesson in there for those of you guys that are willing to look up what some of these guns mean. And that is very cool. So this gun shines in a group of enemies. Like I said, a very fast fire rate, high critical hit damage means that you can wound plenty of people with one clip and keep moving on to the next person. Now, the problem with this weapon is the fact that there are other uniques, not even legendaries that are better than this gun, there are other uniques that overshadow this gun. One of them is the Law, which is a revolver that has a reasonably fast fire rate. It doesn't have the critical hit damage bonus, but it also has a melee bonus and health regeneration. And the other pistol is the Lady Fist, which has a 400 times critical hit damage bonus. So if you're looking to pick up a pistol that is high on critical hit damage, I would actually go with the Lady Fist over this. And the fact that the Law and the Lady Fist are both quest rewards overshadows this gun just a little bit more. However, I would like to say that this is a gun that you probably should pick up around level 25 to 30. It will help you out in your first playthrough since enemies are weak and very, very vulnerable to critical hits. So, all in all, it's not a bad weapon. If you like high-powered weapons, this is not the weapon for you. It's just a little bit more of a finesse weapon. It is a great weapon to fill the gaps while you're leveling up. But at level 50, like I said, it's just overshadowed by unique quest rewards. Quest rewards! Remember that. This is a farmable weapon versus quest rewards. So like I said, I would actually rather have the Lady Fist or the Law if I was looking for a revolver or a pistol with high critical hit damage bonus. So, my name is Jay. More than after kill, make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you could leave a thumbs up on the video, I would highly appreciate it. This was my unique gun review on the judge. So make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. My name is Jay More than after kill. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'm going to see you guys later. What are you waiting for? You're still watching. There's no Easter egg on this video. I didn't fuck up my commentary this time. Although, I do want to say, I hate pirate ninjas. Fuck pirate ninjas. They're a bunch of fucking assholes. Fuck them up their asses. <laughs>